Hey guys, even here, so the Toronto Pro just wrapped up and the winner is of course expectedly Akim Williams, surprisingly Quinton Oraya took a very close second and then also I think it was expected that John Jewett was in the top 3, however Hassan Mustafa ended up placing outside of the top 5. By the way, the organization of this show was a mess, it started very late, I was a little bit late for the pre-judging and I thought the finals were gonna start soon, but it took like 6 hours for it to wrap up, there were masters categories, I mean it was like, I, it lasted the whole day, the whole freaking day, I feel sorry for the people in the audience. But anyways, once again, Akim Williams wins this show, was it an easy win? I would say so, yeah, I mean Quinton did kinda push him actually, you're gonna see a comparison in a second, but was this Akim at his absolute best? I would say no, I would say he was a bit sharper at the Arnold Classic UK and Ohio, but did he need to come in super sharp here? Not really, this was an easy show for him, for a guy at that level, and honestly I was so surprised that Quinton actually kinda pushed Akeem here, I did not think Quinton is gonna improve this much, so whatever he did by himself, it worked, it worked very well, whatever Matt did for the New York Pro, it apparently wasn't the right thing to do and Quinton prepped himself for this show, he had some consultation with a couple of guys but eventually he pulled his own moves and it worked out, it worked out quite well, he was actually more conditioned, not really more conditioned but fuller and so he seemed kinda harder in some, in some areas, so definitely much bigger version of himself, definitely fuller, uh, which made him appear bigger, big enough, let's say, back seemed significantly improved, finally we saw the results of his hard work in the offseason, Hassan as you can see, the biggest guy in the show, but his conditioning is not even good for the offseason, really, I mean Derek Clansford was more conditioned at the guest posing at Pittsburgh Pro, literally, without exaggerating, check out Hassan's glutes, like he needs to start another prep, and prep for another 12 weeks, I mean, I guess I'm exaggerating, but really, I mean, he's gonna continue competing, he plans on doing Vancouver Pro and so on, uh, does that make sense? I mean, pff, I don't know, he was out of top 5 with this show, he needs to be a lot, a lot sharper, I mean, check out Tim Budesheim on the far right here, Tim was actually 5th at this show, so if Hassan wants to win a show, he needs to get those glutes, maybe not at the level of Tim Budesheim, but definitely much, much sharper, this is unacceptable, this is not good even for a guest posing, here is one horrible shot of John Jewett, his front lat spread, his midsection is looking horrible in that one, that's one of his biggest flaws, John Jewett's, his structure is not exactly the prettiest, for sure, but he does what he can, he comes in in good condition, with enough muscle and, you know, top 3 at this show is a great achievement, by the way, sorry guys if you hear it in my voice, I have a little bit of a cold, but it's getting better, anyways, here is where Quinton basically pushed Akim the most, and Quinton was also known for a week back before, but he definitely improved it, especially the back lat spread, check it out, and he was talking about how he improved it, he didn't display it however at the New York Pro, but now that he got fuller, he definitely did display it, now Quinton's flaw, another flaw would be like the thickness from the side, which I don't think it was much of an issue here next to Akim, who is a mass monster by the way, because Quinton with 10 more pounds, I mean he had a 10 more pounds since the New York Pro, is a thick bodybuilder, it's actually a pretty big bodybuilder, so I think he's going to the Mr. Olympia this year, I think he's gonna win the next show he does, which is Vancouver Pro, because he, find, he actually nailed the peak week here, and you can see the improvements he made in the offseason, I mean with his height, and with his frame this filled out, I mean, yeah, Akim beat him, sure, but Akim is like a top tier bodybuilder, this guy can be a top 6 in the Mr. Olympia, I mean, he was 6 at one point, uh, John Jewett, crazy freaking biceps, crazy, insane biceps, but, you know, the structure, not the most pleasant one, here you can see, like, the midsection, not looking very nice, but I guess that's because he got bigger, a lot bigger, since the Legion Sports Fest last year, where he took second to uh, Charles Griffin, I think he's 10 pounds bigger here than that show, look at Akim here, in this side chest, wow, wow, like, that's what sets Akim apart from all these guys, like, those side shots especially are showing, like, crazy definition, crazy details, and crazy thickness, back poses, however, probably the weakest in the top 5, 
or even even further, like probably the weakest in the top, I don't know, seven, eight. It depends. It depends if Hassan is in the top seven or eight because with his glutes, it doesn't matter how big his back is. But yeah, Kim's back, bad, bad, really bad. Probably even worse than the last time we saw him on stage, but it's because of conditioning. When he's lean, his back looks uh, somewhat decent. When he is not in condition, it just doesn't look very good. Which makes sense, right? But it's especially the case with Akeem and his back. Now, here is that comparison between uh, him and Quinton Araya. So you can see how much Quinton actually improved that back, and especially that back lat spread. And he definitely did. He definitely did improve it. Glutes here were, if you ask me, just as lean as they were at the New York Pro. I mean, so his conditioning overall was better, I would say, because he was fuller, he was harder. Maybe his body fat percent didn't go any, any lower, right? He didn't come in any drier. But with that fullness, he actually looked harder, more detailed. Everything was popping. And of course, obviously, because of those 10 pounds, because of that fullness, his overall physique looked so much more impressive, much, much better, much bigger, just overall a much better bodybuilder. I mean, you could have seen it in the photos, the latest photos he posted, he actually did look a lot better, right? He was definitely a lot fuller and with the same conditioning, but I still didn't know what to expect. I mean, I know it happens to guys when they over diet, they just can't get that look back in like two weeks or however it's been since the New York Pro, two, three weeks. But uh, he got it back, he definitely got it back, I mean, he didn't lose the conditioning, he came in very much dry and hard and much bigger, much fuller, it's almost like New York never happened, it's almost like he never lost any tissue for the New York Pro, it was all a peaking mistake, apparently. This right here is what we were supposed to see at the New York Pro, if he looked like this at the New York Pro, where would he place? Would he be in that top three? Would he be battling against Beef Stew? Somewhere there, I would say. Yeah, yeah, with his beautiful shape and structure and his height and all this size. Look at the freaking waist. Look at the freaking axe frame here. Wow, this is really phenomenal, honestly. I think it is pretty safe to say that he's going to the Mr. Olympia by winning the next show, which is Vancouver Pro. But in order to be at the level of competition where, for example, Akim is, you know, to be like in that top three at the Arnold Classic with Samson Daura and Hari Chupan, to be like a top six guy at the Mr. Olympia, he still needs more work. He needs to fill out the physique a little bit more and come in even harder. Here you can see basically the biggest difference. So the side chest pose. Even John Jewett looks a lot better than, than Quinton here, if you ask me, because he has that thickness, he has that hamstring drop, he has the thickness in the legs, in the shoulders, in the chest, in the arms. So Quinton still needs to fill out that physique a little bit more and then also not just come in decently lean and full, but also come in big and hard and like separated. Look at Akeem, man. Akim looks like an absolute monster, but yeah, this is probably Akim's best shot, without probably actually, this is Akim's best shot, and it's not fair to compare uh, Quinton to, to this pose of Akim Williams, because this pose of Akim Williams, you can put it next to Derek or Hari or Samson, you can even argue that he can beat these guys with this pose. So he's that good in the side chest, so Quinton has no chance against Akim in this one, but you can still compare him to John Jewett and see that he lacks that thickness, still needs that hardness, that muscle maturity, which will come with years, with age. He's very young, he's like 28 I believe right now, so it's gonna take a couple of years to reach that, but since we were so disappointed at uh, Quinton uh, for the New York Pro, this was a really pleasant surprise. He placed top two at this show, he was pushing Akeem Williams, not really pushing him, Akeem won, I think, fair and square, but, you know, in the back poses, he was probably beating him, and he came in so much improved, which is a great comeback story, honestly, and I'm telling you guys, he's winning the next show, one cover pro is his, he is qualifying for the Mr. Olympia at that show. Now, again, Hassan Mustafa, he didn't place in the top five, where in the top 10 did he place? I have no idea, but yeah, he's in the top 10. Uh, I would give him 10 because this conditioning is just embarrassing. I mean, in his uh, updates for this show, he was saying that he's holding a lot of water, that once uh, he dehydrates, uh, you're going to see the results of the prep. No, 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 and no. He needs to diet off all this fat. It's not just water. He needs 
like an entire new prep. I mean, I don't know where he's at in terms of eating uh, and, and, and doing cardio. Like maybe he's very low on calories and very high on cardio. I doubt it, honestly, but maybe it's the case. So he can't keep on pushing. Maybe he needs to, you know, increase his metabolism, bring up the food and then do another prep. But can he qualify for the Mr. Olympia in the upcoming weeks? No, no, I don't think so. When guys like Robin Strand are beating him, you know, and who knows who else... I mean, to win a pro show, no, it's not gonna happen, not with this kind of conditioning. If he improves it by like 20-30%, I still don't know. I think he needs to improve it like 50%, I think this is like 8 weeks out. Best case scenario, I mean, some of the guys that are competing in this show are in better conditioning in their off-season, deep into their off-season. John Joyce, for example, his glutes never get like this or hamstrings. Never, never, even when he's pushing the foot in the offseason. So, like, this is not good. This is not good. I mean, maybe Hassan, with all his muscle, he can still win some pro show if he's, you know, decently conditioned, but this is not decent. This is just, this is bad for the offseason once again. If he was doing, let's say, Pittsburgh Pro Gas posing with this kind of conditioning, exact this shape, I still wouldn't be impressed with his conditioning. I would still be like, well, he's not very lean for the offseason, but it's okay, it's the offseason, you know. That's probably what all of you would think as well. So, Hassan is obviously delusional. He thinks he's just holding water, you know. He's not aware of what's happening. And his coach right now is Dorian Hamilton. I'm sure Dorian saw it as well. He just couldn't do anything because Hassan probably won't listen somebody completely. He listened to AJ Sims, and that's the only time he was shredded. He should go back to AJ Sims and do whatever he was doing before if he's willing to suffer and really get in shape because that's the only time he was in shape. This, this is not good. This is embarrassing, guys. This is embarrassing for a guy at this level to compete like this. Shame on him, honestly. Shame on him. Now, as far as John Jewett, like I said, I think he's 10 pounds up from his last uh, open show uh, last year. So in one year, he made a lot of progress. But as far as his conditioning, honestly, I was kind of a little bit disappointed. I thought he was going to be drier based on his uh, photos on IG. So he didn't have that crazy uh, graininess that he has in the photos or like the details, the separation. However, his glutes and his hamstrings were great. They were dialed in. But everything else, it doesn't have that crispiness, those details especially the back, you can see the lower back, like, you can see some skin folding, maybe the light in here was not the best, maybe that's why some of these guys didn't look as lean as they really are, but still, like, I thought John is gonna be completely shredded, he wasn't, and he needs to do something with this pose, he knows how to pull in a vacuum in the front double, and he just sticks the stomach out in the, in the lat spread, and he flexes the chest, which I think might be a mistake, if you just relax his chest, yeah, he has great details in the chest, but I mean, show it in the most muscular, not in the front lat. Here, I would like him to, I would like to see him pull a vacuum and relax the chest, make for a better wee taper and just look more aesthetic. And I would like to see a little bit more details everywhere, so I think he needs to improve his conditioning a little bit more for the next show he does. Here, he does a little bit better, right? So he pulled the stomach a little bit in, the chest is not that flexed. So once again, a great gain, you know, he's definitely, now he's definitely an open bodybuilder, he's done with 212, third place in this show, amazing result. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, tell me what you think about the results, tell me what you think about Quinton's comeback, tell me what you think about Hassan failing so badly with conditioning, whatever is on your mind guys, tell me down below in the comment section, like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more videos like this about bodybuilding guys, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, thank you so much for watching, see you soon once again, all the best, and bye bye.